everyone and welcome to our new episode of the interview experience by i love mythology i am chobi and today we have preeti ma'am with us as a special guest she recently got placed at sardes through acethon competition so first of all congratulations ma'am for the great achievement thank you today we will be discussing about your journey ma'am so to begin with ma'am could you please let us know about how you did how did you get to know about the competition and give a brief intro about the competition so at first i got to know about the competition through the placement whatsapp group of our college our tap coordinator had posted a link for the registration and it is mainly uh, it is mainly a competition focused just for women participants and the person having an experience of about 0 to 5 years are eligible to participate in it and it the link was open for about 10 uh, days you can register through the uh, you can register through the link and then participate in the competition okay ma'am uh, that was helpful so ma'am could you please give us a brief intro about the company you are placed at so zs is mainly a management consulting and uh, sir and professional service providing firm which is mainly uh, which mainly focuses on consulting software and technology their clients are mainly from healthcare sectors that was impressive ma'am so what will be your role in the company and what are the tools you will be working on so mainly the uh, competition was open for various roles there were uh, more there were many roles like big uh, like big data and data analyst associates and there were different profiles but yes i am selected for bo that is business operation associate profile and it is mainly a sort of consulting role so i guess uh, i would be like uh, i would be working on excel and the data visualization tools mainly that's amazing ma'am could you please let us know about the eligibility c- criteria and selection procedure for the company so the eligibility criteria was that anyone who is in the final year of their graduation or in or they have graduated graduated from any field like any stream or any any subject they all were eligible for it and the eligibility criteria was varying for different roles like for boa the people with experience of 0 to 5 5 years they are eligible to apply and for different their eligibility criteria was little bit different like some required an experience of 2 years minimum or some 3 years minimum so that was it and the the first round of the competition like it was mainly in conducted in two phases so the first phase consists of the competition which was held on hackerer so for the boa the first round was mainly a case study round the case study it, uh, there was uh, about 15 question related to the case given there and which need to be solved in 45 to 50 minutes uh which i had observed was it was a little bit difficult question or difficult case study uh, i was just able to solve 12 to 30 question 13 question out of them and uh, like some questions were uh, totally based on your general approach which you will uh, develop by reading the case and for some other question you need to like practice somehow little and that then uh, and after the after the first round uh, after about one month the result was announced and top 50 uh, candidate were selected on the basis of their performance in the first case study round and those student were eligible for the various interview processes which was going to conduct later on okay that was insightful ma'am So could you please share or your experience with the entire process So um after the first process like um I was shortlisted for the interview processes for the further interview processes and uh, the further interview processes was same as the one which is conducted in our campus So at first there is a case study round so in the case study round you will be provided the link and then you have to like give the test it is of uh, one hour the case uh, it mainly comprises of a case study and four se- four different sections and each section comprises of about two to three question 
you need to solve them answer them in either you can write your answer in the blank blank space provided there or for the cal calculative part you have to calculate it or do it in your y sheet and upload the pdf upload it in the form of pdf and after the case study round you have a case discussion round in the case discussion round you will be shown the pdf which you have uploaded and the interviewer will be asking you to explain the mainly the case study so as in my case at first the interview asked me to explain my case so he just went through each and every question so there were lots of question which i was not able to solve um, during the case study round so he just gave me time just he was like he was more more concerned about my approach like how i had arrived at the answer how i have proceeded uh, to the case study so this is how he was asking me the questions so he gave me some time and he asked me to just think and then um, just uh, tell him about my approach like how i'm going to solve this and for each approach he was asking me like is there any other approach or why you are uh, going through this process only or something like that and after the case discussion he was uh, he just proceeded to my cv and he started to ask me question related to my cv uh, like he just went through each and every technical skills which i had mentioned at first he asked me question related to sql like there were generally basic questions like the difference between primary key key and foreign key and the different keys the different joins and their functions then he asked me questions about tableau because i had mentioned the project he asked me to explain my project which was on sql and tableau then he moved to the data science and machine learning part which i had mentioned in my cv he asked me the questions related to data science and machine learning like uh, correlation covariance their uses and uh, and asked me to explain my projects so which i did and then uh, then he was like he just explained me something related some project related to your core so i just explained the, those project also and then it was done from the my side and like he was done from my side and he asked me to um, ask some question so and then the interview just ended uh, and after this case study round like case discussion round if you are selected for the next uh, round then you will receive a call or a me email regarding that the next round will be a fit uh, round which is mainly an hr round so it also started with uh, a brief introduction about the interviewer and then he asked me to introduce myself and then he went through each and everything which i have mentioned in my cv Uh, which i analyzed over there is that he was trying to get to know about me like my qualities which sort of person i am or and then he would might be judging that if i am fit for the role or not so he just asked me the question related to my internship like it was not um, basically related to my technical skills or the profile i was selected the role like the internship which i had done was mainly related to content writing or something like business development but he asked me question related to that also and then he asked me about my sql projects again like if you have he asked me to rate at first rate me out of 5 in my sql skill so i was i told him that yes i would like to rate myself 4 and then he started to ask me questions related to sql Uh, in the in the fifth round there was no any question from machine learning or data science uh, but then he proceeded toward the puzzle side he asked me two to three puzzles and i just uh, and what i observed over whole the whole process was that he was more concerned about my approach and after puzzles he he asked me a guess estimate and then the round just ended up okay that was and one more thing Yeah, yeah sorry uh, but one more thing is that uh, the two core two questions are quite common in the fit round and that is why you want to be a part of gs why bo role 
why not a core why you are opting for non core but as these questions were not asked by me so at the end i just tried to add these by my own side like i just tried by asking my question i tried to mention that yes i want to be a part of gs i have researched much more about it so i just tried to show him that yes i am interested to be a part of it okay ma'am that was really insightful ma'am can you share the topic of uh, the case study with us like it was mainly uh, related to a business case study it was really mainly a business case study in which you have to uh, like uh, it was mainly related to the existing system like changes in the existing system uh, of like i am not able to explain it okay it's okay ma'am uh ma'am what were the challenges you faced coming from a core branch and opting to go into a non core sector like being from a core branch we are always in a confusion like yes we have to go to a core or non core we have to prepare for both of them but uh, as but yes i would suggest that you need to keep um, you need to clear your mind about the sector you are going to choose by the end of third by by the end or the starting of third year or by the end of fifth semester otherwise it's going to be quite difficult for you so at last we have to choose one of them and keep a proper or a special emphasis on a particular subject that was idealistic ma'am ma'am what were the resources you followed to get get into this company So like ZDS is mainly, yeah. so ZDS is mainly famous for its case studies. Uh, I I had also participated in the campus beach program of ZDS. So for that I had prepared a lot. Uh, I think that for approaching a case study, you need to have a clear picture of of uh, like your approach that you are going to follow further. so for the case study i i used to study from there are different books like case in point case interview crack or uh, there is a book uh, by iim ahmedabad so for the guesstimates and the, uh, for the guesstimate i used to prefer them and for the normal case study i used to study case in point so by uh, studying the case in point you will get to know about a basic approach like uh, you will get a is little bit idea of uh, like when you are going to see a case study then how you need to proceed you will get a basic idea of the case study from that and for the guesstimate as i told you i am ahmedabad i found it to be more than sufficient because it will develop a basic understanding about the guesstimate and for the puzzles geeks for geeks is more than enough you just need to go through all the puzzles mentioned there and that's more than enough that's helpful ma'am so the last question of the evening could you please share some tips for us to keep in mind so i would like to suggest to all of you that prepare a good cv which i have felt is that uh, you your cv will surely give you an edge over others and try to get through each and every bit of the cv like if you have mentioned anything anything then you should know about it because if you are not able to answer anything which is mentioned in your cv then it really creates a negative impact so just try to go through each and everything which you have mentioned in your cv like if you have mentioned about some sports then go through it like you should know about the rules the sport person involved or ev- or everything related to it so that you would be able to explain when you will, will be asked because you don't know what the interviewer is going to ask you and another thing which i would suggest is that for the projects just don't try to copy and uh, copy the project which i mentioned over the youtube just try to make some projects of your own because if each and every one will just uh, write the same project then interview will, will not show much more interest over it but for uh, at least for sql and table try to explore data by your own try to present try to prepare your own project so that you will be able to explain it to the interviewer and they will also show a little bit more interest over it like they will be known like they will create a, a if you are mentioning your own project and you are explaining it to them so it will create a positive impact that yes you are interested in the field and yes you are doing it 
and one more thing is that like never which i would like to suggest is that never show that you are not interested in your core because it's like that if you are studying something for a four year for three years so you should develop some interest in them so uh, in each and every interview i just never told them that yes i am not interested in core i just tried to show them that yes i am interested in core i had studied core but i am like i am more fascinated towards consulting or i am more fascinated towards analytics field and i am interest like i just showed them that i just try to put my 100% in whatever i do like if i am studying code that i am i try to do my best there also but yes because i am more interested towards this field so i want to pursue my career in this field it's not like that that we have to show that i am not interested in code that's why i am opting for non code you can show them that yes you are interested in core also but just because this field seems fascinating to you and you want to pursue your career in this field that's why you are opting for it so that's it okay that was insightful ma'am thank you ma'am for taking some time off your busy schedule it was a pleasure to have you here with us and your words today were really informative and beneficial with this i would like to end our interview here thank you everyone and wish you all the best for your future